hello guys welcome to focus on fragrance channel i hope you're all doing very well today i have another clone from the house of mason alhambra which is the anarch and this is a very good and a very close clone to andromeda from house of tiziana terenzi and this is also somewhat similar to herba pura from suspiro if you are interested in having a clone of andromeda and somewhat similar fragrance to herba pura this video is for you guys let's get into this so first of all the presentation guys you get a quality box a big box i really like the presentation i think this can never get any better from this at least for the price you will be paying for this and the box is pretty much similar to the original andromeda tiziana terenzi but they have changed about the bottle and another important thing guys if you are buying this particular batch from 2020 you will get the logo of Alhambra. Let me, okay, I'll remove this. Okay, so the 2020 batch, the logo is just Alhambra, and the 2021 and 2022 batches have the Mason Alhambra logo, so keep that in mind. And the box is pretty much well made, hard card board and if you just put a name of tom ford over here or dior people would literally buy this for 300 and 400 dollars and it is really worth it so <coughs> the let me spray it on and before spraying it on the box is pretty much similar to the andromeda but they have changed the bottle and the cap is also like andromeda this has the the motif uh, design on the cap not as much detail as the andromeda but still it is good enough and the same design here on the box and they have kept this golden type of a theme all over on the box the inner line this golden tussle, tussle the golden cap and the golden juice color which i really like so <clears throat> First of all guys, as much as I have done my research uh, on all the websites, the notes for this, they've just took the Andromeda's notes and put it here, calling them their notes. So we will test it out, how much this is true. I will tell you guys what can I get from this. So <clears throat> I'll spray it on guys and I don't even want to spray it, but I'll spray it. I don't want to spray it just because I'll tell you, wait. The sprayer is a really good sprayer on this, it just squirts out the juice. Oh my god guys. So I have sprayed this here guys and even if I come here after 24 hours, if I come here after 24 hours in this room, I would literally smell this in the whole room. This is a room filler, a beast perfume guys. So <clears throat> the notes guys. Uh, from all the websites they mention this has the elang elang in the top uh, with water jasmine bergamot and grass in the middle notes it has the peach pear blossom white heliotrope violet leaf damask rose in the base notes it has the cashmere wood ebony amber coconut tonka bean vanilla and sugar so i have spread this on and i will tell you guys what i can get from this so guys uh, in the opening it has a fresh uh, lang ylang that rich floral dirty a bit sore with the freshness of water jasmine and <clears throat> bergamot is giving this the citrusy crispy citrusy vibe with the grass which adds that fresh green smell so in the opening guys this is very fresh and green and the fruity notes guys are in the heart notes with the pear and the peach and pear blossom but this is more of a pear to me than a pear blossom guys because this is really fruity and the floral notes of lily are pretty much in the background i can get the heliotrope it is giving it that sweet vanilla like of a touch i could really not trace the violet leaf guys i don't know why but the damask rose is here which is pretty much unisex i think any man could wear this rose easily and 
this is not as much floral as much uh, as much as it is sweet and airy guys and <clears throat> the rose and all the notes guys i'll tell you like this water jasmine is making all the floral notes very the rose is gonna be you're gonna be like watery rose watery lily some watery heliotrope the water jasmine is creating like a lot of watery some aquatic type of a vibe so as this goes to the base notes guys the dry down what can i get from this so in the dry down guys they say this has cashmere wood but i would say more of musk than cashmere wood this has lots of musk without the woods and this is pretty much similar to the Anna Bayid I am white if you guys have checked this out but this is not fruity it is very musky this one is really fruity so the muskiness is just like the Anna Bayid I am white I couldn't really get the woods in here in the dry down and the ebony wood I cannot really trace it at all guys if you have tried this do tell me just in the comment section below if you guys could trace any woody accords from this also i cannot get the amber knot but what i can get in the dry down is the coconut but it is more like of a coconut oil or a coconut shower gel than a pure coconut and the sweetness i can get the smooth vanilla with lots of sugar and some little bit of tonka bean so overall guys how does this smell well starting with the freshness this gets fruity and the floral accords are pretty much unisex and in the background this is gonna be like a very much sweet and fruity and in the last it's gonna be floral so <clears throat> the dominating notes in this guys and another thing guys in the dry down i can get some little bit of ambergris if you have used this do tell me in the comment section below i get that ambergris type of a note after two to three hours this makes it kind of aquatic but it doesn't mention any ambergris but i can get some the dominating notes are the ylang ylang water jasmine peach pear the damask rose vanilla and sugar so from the start till the end this is going to be a fruity sweet and this has this somewhat of soapiness but it is not a soapy fragrance it is fresh sweet with some juicy fruity shampoo accord and lots of musk which shines with the freshness and the fruity accords in the dry down so <clears throat> this is a very good fresh fruity fragrance with beast performance and literally i can say this can even beat the original andromeda in performance this is really a beast mode performance guys i would say this is the best one from the maison alhambra if you are looking for performance i would say even the best from the whole latafa because usually the fresh and fruity fragrances do not last that long and this is a total beast guys this will never go away from your clothes so <clears throat> what can i tell you guys more the main accords for this guys this starts fresh gets sweet fruity then floral gets green and in the dry down it is very musky so for the age guys who can wear this any age can wear this easily because it is very fresh very fruity i would say from age 15 up to a 40 age can easily wear this this is so fresh so fruity for the seasons guys best for the spring summer and fall and currently i have tried this in the winter and it really does perform even well in the winter time so in the extreme winters it does even perform in that this does not have any accords any strong bass but still it is so long lasting such a beast performance it did give me a good performance even in the winter times so the unisex guys this is definitely a unisex fragrance but for me personally this is leaning more to the feminine side but still any man could wear this if he doesn't mind the sweetness and a lot of fruitiness in the fragrance personally for me guys i would wear this in the extreme heat time in the gym or going for exercise because this is really fruity fresh so i will try this on i have already tried it as you guys can see 
a little bit but i will wear this again because this is really good so if we do a fair rating for this guys for the longevity it gets a 10 out of 10 a plus plus 10 out of 10 literally guys on your skin this will stay from if you don't wash it it won't go away for 10 to at least 15 hours on your skin but on your clothes guys this sounds crazy on your clothes this will stay at least three to four days i had tested this two to three times on my blanket on my clothes and every time this performs really well up to four or five days but i won't tell you that i would say for the first day and the second day this really performs well but after some time passing away of course this becomes a little light so a 10 out of 10 for the longevity beast performance at least you can never find such a fresh sweet and floral fragrance that is this much good in the longevity for this edge guys a 10 out of 10 everywhere you go this will leave a trail behind the best one for this edge for the projection another 10 out of 10 above average projection and i would say never heavy spray on this never go hard on the trigger just two or even three are the maximum you want to go four sprays are enough for this because this will kill everyone around you so the price tag guys the important thing 10, 10 out of 10 i got this for like 19 to 20 dollars the best price is from 20 to 30 dollars but personally guys I would even pay $50 and even $100 for this because this is such a beast performance fragrance. I would hype this and I am gonna hype this up. So if you guys are looking for a fragrance that is similar to Andromeda or Herba Pura or even forget about that. If you are looking for a fragrance that is fresh, that is fruity and uh, somewhat floral and the best performance up to 2 or 3 days, this is the best for you guys and i have heard that they are gonna be reformulating this so before they reformulate guys you guys should get this if you are interested in what i said for the comparison guys this is from the start until the heart notes this is very much similar like a hundred percent similar in my opinion i do not have the andromeda now but i had smelled it like some two years ago guys and the first time i smelled this straight away this reminded me of the andromeda this is a little bit different in the dry down uh this does not have that woody vibe which i get from the andromeda and another thing this might not have some quality notes but still guys anyone that has smelled this this they say this is a quality fragrance nobody can say that this does not have any quality notes for me personally i do not like that cloying sweet loud fragrances this is loud but no one would say that they hate it because this is too airy musky sweet fruity and floral nobody's gonna hate this so this is at least 80 to 90 percent similar to andromeda and it's a very close and a very good clone of andromeda and this is also somewhat similar to the herba pura but more to the andromeda if you like the clone of andromeda get this for yourself or similar to uh, herba pura but i would say mostly to the andromeda this is a very good clone this was all for the video guys if you like the video hit that like and subscribe button until the next video take care bye bye